Welcome everybody to the Hoop Dome. My name is Terry Nelson and we are here for game two of our Saturday doubleheader. As you can see, the Vipers are here and they're feeling pretty good about themselves at the moment. Tonight's tilt features a hotly contested battle between the Kitchener and Waterloo Vipers. And Oakville's collection of players. Should be fun. Looks like tonight's starting lineup for the Vipers is Matthew, Jovan, Eric, Xavier, and Brady. Looks like we're ready to jump it up. Here we go. Jovan wins the opening tip and Vipers control the ball here at the start of the first period. Xavier kicks it on the wing to Matthew. Matthew hesitates, dribble drive, coughs it up. Oakville's got it, in control here early on. And looks like they almost throw it away. And it's Viper ball. Eric inbounds to Xavier and here we go again. Possession number two for the Vipers, there's no score. Xavier looking for the soft kiss off the window, doesn't fall. Viper ball. Coach calls the play on the sideline. Jovan inbounds to Matthew. Matthew looks like he got away with a carry. Viper still control, there's a foul that wasn't called. Go get it, go get it. Brady on top to Jovan, who drives. Just falls short. Oakville with possession over the timeline. They set up their offense, kicks to the wing. It's contested by Jovan. They're cut off to the baseline jumper. It's good. Vipers down too early. Give and go play. And the harm. Xavier goes to the line for two. That's right. First one falls. And Xavier starts two for two from the line. We got a tie game. Oh, penetrating the defense is Oakville, but he stopped short and Brady comes up with it. Xavier controls, the Vipers have the ball. They're over center. He's looking to go. He's takes it to Matthew. Matthew hesitates, takes a drive, he goes. Driven out of bounds. Oakville with possession, the score is 2-2 here early in the first quarter, period I should say. Nice defense by the Vipers holding court. Good board by Brady. That's at least a couple for him early. Oh, Xavier feeds it down court. Can Matthew save it? He does. Xavier has, I mean, Jovan with the walk. Outside jumper falls. So Oakville shows early they have poise from the outside and are capable of daggers. That's nice from Xavier. The drive pays off. And one scenario.
And the free throw falls. It's 5-4 Vipers here. Oakville's big man. Oh, he found the guy on the weak side, puts it up, it's a brick, and it's Viper Ball. Xavier sets up the half-court offense. Looks like he wants to penetrate again. Does not get the roll this time. Matthew fights underneath, and because of that, it's Viper Ball. Referee catches up with an old friend here on the sideline. Wait! Yeah, Wait. Everything's good between them. Back to the game. Oh, Matthew hoists a jumper, and it's no good. Here comes Oakville. Oh, another giveaway by Oakville, Viper Ball. Give and go by the Vipers. Turns into another pair of free throws for Xavier. We'll take it. 26 seconds left in the first period. Vipers up one. First free throw won't fall, but he has another one. Cash. Vipers up 2-6-4 here as the first period winds down. Oakville controls. I will say the Vipers defense has looked pretty good here in the first period. Oakville moves the ball, but at every single corner, they are met by a defender. This is good. Oakville moves the ball up top. We're down to three, two, one, and that's how she's gonna end. First period is done, Vipers are up 6-4. Coach recaps the first period with his players. It's a pretty good start for the Vipers as we enter period number two. Something seems to be happening here. Referees are back and we're ready to restart this game. And it seems whatever issue we had seems to have been resolved. It's Oakville ball to start the second period. Let's see if Vipers defense can hold. There's an air ball to start the second for Oakville. Aaron Rubio picks up the rebound and takes it to the other zone. Here's Shaz at the top. Jumper. It's good. And Buckets is just that to start the second period for the Vipers. 8-4 lead for Kitchener. Oakville can't respond. The rebound is gathered by the Vipers and here they come again. Rubio at the top. Drive, won't fall. Picked up by Oakville as they come back across. They are now in Viper territory here as they continue to move the ball. There's a step back jumper that falls. 8-6 Vipers. Attican inbounds, here comes Rubio. They want you down there. Okay, just in case. Action happens.
three, two. Ah.
Not quite sure what has happened here, but I believe there's a there's a situation with the player. It appears to have been resolved and we're ready to pick this game action back up here. We're in period number four. The score is 17-13 Vipers as Oakville set to, re to inbound the ball. Here we go. Ooh, they almost coughed it up, but they saved it from going back over center. The Vipers defense seems to be holding here. They're kind of dancing around with it right now. Thank God there's no shot clock. For Oakville's sake, that is. They're moving the ball. They're looking for an opening. They seem to have found one, and they make. The score is 17-15, Vipers. As Rubio brings the ball over the half court, he brings it into the zone. And unfortunately, he's called with the carry. Vipers fans have shown up. Nice job, cameraman. And the peanut gallery is alive and well. Meanwhile, play is back on here. Let's get into, oh my goodness, Oakville have responded with two straight buckets and we have a tie game. Second shift seems to be having a bit more trouble than the first shift in this particular game. But we're seeing some positive signs. There's a jump ball. Oakville with a chance to take their first lead of the game. Not happening yet. Rubio with the steal. And the harm. He'll shoot two, looking to give the Vipers the lead again. One for one so far. Makes them both. Vipers up 19-17 here as the first half winds to a close. We got two minutes left in period four. Oakville over midcourt. They're looking to set up their offense. Oh, that's a pretty give and go, but falls short. Oakville call with the travel. Attic and inbound. After playing a quick game of catch with the ref. Here we go. Rubio over midcourt. Into Oakville zone. Dances around the arc, kicks it to Shaz, who puts up a short one. And Oakville takes over. Oh. Into traffic. Oh, wow, no call. Oh, there's a travel. And the ref confirms the call. It's going Viper's way. 56 seconds left on the clock in the first half. Shazzle inbound to Rubio. Spin move from Shaz, and it goes. Pretty take from Shaz gives the Vipers a four point lead, 40 seconds left in the first half. Oakville stops, pops, can't drop. Shaz comes up with the board and here he comes down the court. Oh, he's pickpocketed. And back come Oakville, looking to hustle. Oh, 
another turnover. Oakville comes back, seven seconds left. And a whistle, it's going. Five seconds. Count them down. Count them down, Vipers, count them down. Five, four, three, two. Ah, uh, that's not gonna happen. But an otherwise good first half for the Vipers. The second unit came on strong and we have a four point lead. The score is 20, 21 to 17 Vipers at the half. We're gonna take a break, we'll be back soon. Uh, so Tony, uh, can you just break down that, that, that first half there for the Vipers? Uh, what, what were you seeing out there? Uh, from the Vipers I saw good defense, boxing out and rebounding, which has been their Achilles heel. Uh, that half, they played good. Pass the ball on offense, uh, could pass a little bit more, but the rebounding, defense, boxing out, running out for fast breaks, excellent job. What are you looking for here in the second half? More of the same, a little bit more movement, ball movement on uh, offense. They gotta get more players involved, which if you do that, you're gonna get more players involved in the defense again. But the game's gonna lead to more box out, better D, and more rebounding. That's the key to us winning. We're back everybody, sorry about that. Uh, the second half has just begun. The score is 21-17 for Vipers, as we said, just before the break. It looks like the, uh, the unit that finished the first half is back out to start the second one. Sticking with Coach Nick's kind of uh, inverted lineups, half to half. Well, basically what happens is the play is on and I'm just calling the game as I see it. So. We're back. 322 left in period number five. That's a nice drive of the lane by Oakville and he gets the foul as a reward for that effort. Non-shooting foul, Oakville will inbound. They're set. Some nice man-to-man -man defense from Attican. Oakville's uh, choked up at the top, but now they've turned a corner, they've got a jump shot in the air, and it won't go. Ball is loose. Chaz wins the fight. Oh, and he also looks like he got it in the eye at the same time. He's okay, he's still playing. Rubio, over mid-court, into the Oakville zone. Kicks to Shaz on the wing. Shaz hesitates, spins, puts it up, and won't go. Ball's loose, and it goes Oakville's way. Oakville sets. There's a jump shot, won't go. Nice board by Attican, and he turns up court to Shaz. Shaz looks aggressive and he is walking. Score remains 21-17 halfway through period number five. No score in this period yet. It's a real pitcher's duel. Oh, I'm mixing sports euphemisms here, my bad. Oakville over the timeline. Nice take, that falls. Two point game, Vipers up 21-19. Attican to Rubio, Rubio carries. Into Oakville zone. To Shaz on the wing, Shaz kicks it across. Here's Attican. He's gonna hoist. And it falls short. Oh, that's a travel right there. Vipers will inbound in front of their faithful. And here comes Aaron Rubio with the ball. 
Head up, dribbling, takes a look, kicks to Jaden on the side. Jaden kind of head down dribble there. Finds Shaz. Aaron somehow comes up with the ball. It's getting sloppy down there. Shaz has it. And it's going out of bounds. It's Oakville ball. A little out of control on that offense there. Let's see if they can tighten that up on their next possession. Meanwhile, Oakville carries. Viper defense is set. Ooh. That's a Viper ball. Attican on the sideline. Finds his teammate who carries over the stripe. Finds Shaz on the elbow. And what's the call here? I can't tell. Ah, oh, a travel. This is a real tough period for the Vipers. Let's see if they can get a defensive stop. They have not scored in this period. 35 seconds left to go. Can their defense hold court? Oakville seem to be in no rush to get the ball in the air. Oh, that's a nice spin move though, and a foul. Well-earned trip to the charity stripe. Quick adjustment of the quaff. Sh shooting two. First one's good. We have a one point ball game, folks. This break in the action has been brought to you by Velcro Shoes. Velcro Shoes, you still 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, there is a case for Velcro. And look at that, there happen to be some Velcro on those shoes. Don't look now. Count them down, count! Oh, that's tough. This, this was a real tough period for the Vipers. And Oakville seemed to have all the momentum. They are feeling it right now. Can the first unit come back and right the ship? Let's have a look here. Going into period number six. The score is Oakville 22, Vipers 21. We're back for period number six. Three to go here. Lots of time left. Oakville patient. Can't finish, but a second chance effort does it. Oakville's up three. Xavier controls at the top, kicks to Matthew. There's a give and go. Not handled well, we have a jump ball. And it's going Viper's way, fortunately. Brady's gonna inbound here. 3.22 left on the clock in period six, lots of time. Matthew hoists, it's short. Rebounded by Oakville. They're looking to really penetrate. They can't finish, but they get their own rebound for a second chance effort again, and that one's long. Wow, finally the Vipers come up with it. Xavier's away. Stops, pops, drops. 24-23. Vipers down one here as they try to hold. Can they? There's some size on this Oakville team. 
That's a bad call right there. That's clearly off of Oakville. You folks watching on YouTube, just go back and watch that in slow-mo one more time. You have that feature on YouTube, you'll clearly see that's Viper Ball. And justice is served, Xavier's away. Oh, it's Matthew at the top. Oh, that's a travel. Yep, you got him. Oakville carry into Viper territory. They're up one with just over two minutes left in period number six. Very nice take from Oakville. They attack, slash, and finish. 26-23. Here comes Xavier carrying the ball. Finds Matthew. Instinct said give and go, he thought better. Dribbles, shoots, just short. Oh, that's a nice feed down low. Oakville can't finish though. That's gonna be a jump ball. And it's Oakville ball here. 113 left in period number six, 26-23 Oakville. Three point game, they inbound. The referee is in front of us, we cannot see a thing. And what we missed was an Oakville basket. Who knows, maybe it's better that way. Brady kicks. Jovan hesitates, finds a beautiful pass for Eric. What a play. That's just gorgeous basketball, people. Watch that one again. Man, I love to see nice passing in the game of basketball. That's a long shot. Vipers have the ball and they have a chance to either take the lead. Sorry, no, they don't have a chance to take the lead. I can't do three things at once here. The score is 28-25 Oakville. 13 seconds left, they gave the ball away. Oakville have a chance to finish the period. They slow it right down. They're gonna be counted down by their own teammates. Five, four, three, two, one. That's a shocking finish. Right in front of their own bench with the chance to count them down, it doesn't happen. Period six ends and the Vipers find themselves down 28-25. We're about to kick off period number seven. There are only two left in this game. Vipers are down three. Can they get stops? It's up, it's off. Shaz with the rebound. And here we go. Oh, all the way, Rubio, no. But a jump ball, that's probably gonna be, oh, it's Viper ball. I believe that is actually a bad call, but we'll take it. Vatican to inbound here. We better hurry up and get it in. That was a really fast five seconds. Really fast. People watch that one again. I'm five seconds? Really quick five second call turns over the ball to Oakville, but can the defense hold them? 
And there's a makeup call from the referee. We'll take it. Three minutes to go here in period seven. Jaden with the steal. And the harm. We'll take it. He will go to the stripe with a chance to bring his team back to within as many as one. Oh, it goes down. Jaden's been shooting very nice free throws in this game to, to this point. Jaden's a good two-way player. Lots of speed. Just keep an eye on him on this court. He does make both, and we have a one-point game, everybody. It's 28-27 for Oakville. I have a feeling we're in for a very good finish in this game. Wide open shot, won't drop. Aaron with the rebound, and Rubio is away with it. Can the Vipers take the lead on this possession? They'll certainly have an opportunity. Atkin forces up a quick shot, doesn't go. Oakville takes over. Very ambitious pass. Doesn't happen for them. Vipers have possession again. Two minutes left on the clock in period number seven. Atkin sets. Nice move. And a beautiful finish. That was gorgeous. And the Vipers have the lead again. It is 29-28. Now can they get a stop on this end of the floor? 150 left on the clock in period number seven. Oakville works the ball around. It's a nice pass to the low post, but quickly swarmed by four Vipers. Good defense here on this shift. Again cut off. Oakville works the ball around. That's a travel stepping into a jump shot that doesn't go. The rebound is picked up by Oakville. Kicked from the outside, doesn't go. That's gonna be off Vatican, and it is Oakville ball. Boy, the action is really starting to intensify. That is not lost on me or anybody else here watching this game. They are feeling it here. The Viper faithful know they're getting the effort they need from the second unit in this game. Clearly something is bothering Shaz's dad. I'm not sure what it is, but he's reenacting it for us, fortunately here at home. With a one point lead again here, Coach Nick talks through the next steps here in period number seven. Oakville seem to have some plans of their own. We're back. Nice defense from the Vipers, but it remains Oakville's ball. Some nice defense from the Vipers. The lane is clogged and they come up with the ball. It's Jaden away. He's going all the way. Atkin from the side. Jaden gets the rebound. Oh, and a travel is called. You gotta like that effort, though. One point game, Vipers up with one minute remaining here in period number seven. We have one period to go after this. What a finish is coming. That's a nice pass to, oh, they ran out. Somehow saved, you gotta, you gotta like that. Oh, it's a nice take, but it doesn't fall and the Vipers have it. Here goes Rubio. Across the timeline. He's going all the way. Doesn't go. Oakville with it. There's some speed, and that's a carried ball. Good call by the referee. Viper ball, 28 seconds remaining. One point game, 29 28 Vipers. Chaz to Rubio. 
Has a look, seeing what's he got. Gives to Jaden. Jaden pumps, dumps. Here's Marcus. Marcus on the. Oh, it's a poor giveaway there. And here comes Oakville. Attacking. Runs out of gas or the brick wall that is Jaden. Jump ball is called. Oakville retains possession. Six seconds left on the clock, and I'm just going to take a moment here to talk to the players. Don't foul! Don't foul! We are back. Here comes the inbound. Six seconds left. Oh, a quick shot. That was ill. Go, go, go! And an ambitious hoist from his own foul line. Doesn't drop. But it's all good. Vipers lead after seven, 29 28. All right, the Viper faithful are cheering them on. We have four minutes left in this game, barring overtime. Oakville's attacking. It's not going down, though. Fighting over the ball, that's a jump. Oh, and Brady rips it away from the opponent. Viper ball. Jovan, Xavier, here we go. Xavier finds Matthew at the top. Fakes, dribbles, kicks it over. There's Jovan. Jovan takes a look around. Weighs his options. Gives it to Eric. Brings it back to the top. There's Brady. Nice passing from the Vipers. Oh, but swatted away. Very nice executed play. They just got swatted. That's good defense. Xavier in defensive mode, knocks the ball out of bounds. We have 317 left on the clock. It's a one-point lead for the Vipers. 317 left to go. Oakville inbounds. That's too easy, but it doesn't go. Rebounded by Oakville. Boris kicks it to the three-point line. Trying to drive, goes into traffic, and that causes a giveaway. Here's Xavier with the ball. It's a little tentative down there. Oh, he jacks up a shot. It's short, but the rebound is gathered. Jovan can't finish, and here comes Oakville. Foul. Count it. And that's not good, ladies and gentlemen. That's a one-point lead for Oakville, and one. You can see the score over his shoulder there. It's 30-29 Oakville now. Can they build on that lead? Nope, they can't, but they gather their own board. That doesn't fall. Oh, the size is a problem for the Vipers here. Oakville gets every rebound. What's the call? It's going the Vipers' way. We'll, we'll get confirmation on the call later. For now, it's Xavier with the ball. Two and a half minutes left to go here on the clock. Matthew with the give and go. Xavier won't fall. Rebounded by Oakville. The big men are in there now. And here they come, looking to attack. Foul. Unfortunately, we don't have names, so it's this guy shooting two. This is the first. The Vipers will be looking to box out here in case of miss. But he makes. And it's a two-point game. Xavier controls the ball as he gets over midcourt. He's taking a look around. Shoots and makes. Tie game. 31-31 with a minute 54 left in period number eight. Oakville with the ball at the top. It's cut off. Brady is everywhere defensively at the moment. It's pretty clean, but refs say shooting two. And Boris, who has the best representation in the OBL, misses the first free throw. Oh, 
Oh, he makes the second one and Oakville's back up by one. Very, very tense couple of minutes coming up here as we wrap this game up. Xavier with the ball. Into Oakville territory. Takes a look, finds Matthew. Oh, but Oakville starting to read that play and they intercept. That's a foul. And Oakville's going back to the line again. shot is missed. We need a box out and a rebound here. We have a make. It is a three-point game. Timeout called by the Vipers. 134 left on the clock. No update on the scoreboard yet. That's cool. Let's keep it at 33, shall we? Well, here's the situation, everybody. The Vipers have won their first game today, but uh, are in danger of dropping the second one to Oakville. The score is 33-31. I didn't see the change of score to 34, so it remains a two-point game for some reason. We'll take it. Xavier kicks to Eric. And the call is travel. That's going to be Oakville ball. 125 on the clock. Lots of time. Off the miss by Oakville, the Vipers get the ball back. It's a two point game, one minute left to go. Xavier with it. Takes a look. Ooh, he jacks up a shot, it doesn't go. And here comes Oakville, up on the other end. Matthews trying to stand tall, he does. It's kicked out, jumper from the outside, doesn't go. It's rebounded by Jovan. And he kicks to, Yo uh, to Xavier, and here we go again. 33-31, 35 seconds left on the clock. Xavier looks, he's gonna hoist, and it doesn't go. Oakville have the ball again. We're running out of time here. 24 seconds left. We need to get a stop. Can Oakville's just looking to waste. Oh, he feeds his boy down low, and that's a make. Vipers have to hurry now. 35-31 is the score. 12 seconds, 10, eight seconds. Here's Matthew, turns, puts up a jumper. It goes, three seconds left, foul, foul. And they're gonna let the clock run out. That's how it ends. That's how it ends. That's all she wrote here at the Hoop Dome on Saturday. We'll be back tomorrow for the next slate of action. Thanks for watching everybody. Final score is Oakville 35, Kitchener-Waterloo 33.